Hi, my name's Alice and I'm a senior test engineer here at Audio Intelligence. This video is going to be a comparison between our Orsana remote microphone and the Starkey table microphone. So this is the setup for the demo. We've got three speakers set up, uh, labelled one, two and three. Each speaker is going to output the speech from a different person. So this is to simulate multiple people sat around a table just having a conversation. We're also going to be generating noise in here. This is using eight speakers, which are uh, around the room above my head, which are just out of shot. This is using real recorded cafe noise. This is going to be producing noise at about 70 dB. So this is to simulate being in a busy social situation, such as at a cafe or a restaurant. So first I'm going to demonstrate automatic mode. So in automatic mode, the device will seamlessly follow a conversation. So the scenario I'm going to play you is the three people sat around a table, the speakers one, two, three, are just having a conversation. So first you'll hear the raw output from the microphones of our Orsana device to hear what the environment sounds like without any processing turned on. And then you'll hear the Starkey device. Then you'll hear the same scenario with our Orsana device turned on. The best place ever. Devon. I don't know about that. In the entire world. In the entire world, yeah. Places that I've been from picking Devon. So do you never go abroad anymore? No, I do, but I still would rather be in Devon. The best place ever. Devon. I don't know about that. In the entire world. In the entire world, yeah, of the places that I've been, I'm picking Devon. So do you never go abroad anymore? No, I do, but I still would rather be in Devon. <laughs> I know Cornwall a lot more than Devon. Best place ever. Devon. I don't know about that. In the entire world. In the entire world, yeah, of the places that I've been, I'm picking Devon. So do you never go abroad anymore? No, I do, but I still would rather be... In Devon. <laughs> I know Cornwall a lot more than Devon. I used to go like twice a year when I was a kid, but never tried surfing. So next I'm going to demonstrate focus mode. So in focus mode the user can select the people they want to listen to and leave anybody they don't want to listen to unselected. So this is particularly useful at a dinner party, for example, where people are having multiple conversations around a table, but you only want to listen to one of them. So the scenario I'm going to play you is that speaker one and speaker two are having a conversation that we're interested in hearing, so they'll be selected, and speaker three is on the phone at the same time and they'll be talking, but they won't be selected, so you won't be able to hear them. Did you know it's all right? We, I recommended to you we went down idea. to the restaurant. Oh, no, we had a good time. That was the Asian restaurant. Drinks, wasn't it? But was it Chinese restaurant? It wasn't yeah, like it was a dim sum yeah. restaurant. We need to go back to the old. No, I didn't try that. It's definitely on that kind of. Did you try that restaurant that I recommended to you with the violins yet? Oh no, I didn't actually. That was the Asian restaurant, wasn't it? It was a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, it was a dim sum dim sum restaurant in on a Hill Road. No, I didn't try that. It's definitely on the list though. I definitely recommend it. It's an interesting experience that they've got. Did you try that restaurant that I recommended to you with the violins yet? Oh no, I didn't actually. That was the Asian restaurant, wasn't it? It was a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, it was a dim sum dim sum restaurant in on a Hill Road. No, I didn't try that. It's definitely on the list though. I definitely recommend it. It's an interesting experience that they've got selling violins and other stringed instruments. Yeah. Then also you can order really nice dim sum food. Yeah. 